Hey everybody, this is Rebecca from FussFreeNails.com and today we are going to be checking out the new Petite line. So Color Street just came out with this new Petite line. Um, there's 11, whoops, there's 11 different um, shades and colors and designs in each one. And um, today I'm going to be putting them on my 14 year old teenage daughter. There she is. Um, so as you can see here, the, we have changed the packaging just a little bit. Um, if you have been with uh, Color Street for a while, then you know um, they it used to come into like a little packaging, and now we are doing a different kind of packaging to almost give you also kind of a workspace. I really like that. So you get one nail pad, nail prep pad. You get a fun Color Street nail file with every design it has been different so far which is really fun and then of course the nail strips okay so right off we see that these are a lot smaller than they than the regular ones um so the first thing that you want to do is um you're going to first clean the strips or clean your nail, sorry, your nail beds um, in prep to put these on. First, I just need to get them out of the package. There we go. So you will see that there are still eight different sizes and 16 strips in the package. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to be just cleaning any excess oils off. Paint. Any paint, anything <laughs> else. We're gonna get the other one here as well. She is an artist, so she loves to have paint on her, <laughs> on her fingers. So that's gonna get this off too, which is good. All right. <laughs> okay, so, this is actually the first time that I've been working with these, so I'm really excited to see how these work on her. Um, in previous times where I've used the regular strips, um, I have had to cut them down on the sides because her nail beds are so narrow. So here, we may not have to do that. So you peel off the top layer. You're gonna use the silver tab to peel the polish from the backing and she chose this really fun checks and cherries design that's the name checks and cherries and you're just going to go ahead and line it up and smooth it out and then what I like to do is get my thumbnail and kind of push down on the nail that I'm applying and it comes right off and then we can clean it up with a nail file <clears throat> and because they are double ended strips they you can use one strip for two nails now I am also avoiding her cuticles and her skin yeah you don't want to get it onto the skin because it'll just end up peeling up um, later <clears throat> And then it'll, you could run into chips and things like that. So like I said, you just clean this up with a nail file. And you're done. And it's dry. You can touch it and there's no problems, which is so great. just like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use this accent nail uh, with the cherries for her, for her ring finger. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Sometimes the accent nail, people like to put it on the, um, on the middle finger or the pointer finger
there is a bit of a window in there if you get it crooked to just go ahead and lift up on it. And it's just that simple. Okay, so this one is a little bit narrow for this one. So we are going to use the other end of this one. They are tapered. This side is, um, this side is fuller and this side is narrow. So that's why I'm using just one side of these because the tapered side isn't um, big enough for her nail bed. If I can get it on straight, there we go. And if you ever didn't want to use the you know, pull it down. What you can also do is um, pull it, just make sure to stretch it over the, the top there and it gets all smooth. Then you can use the nail file in a downward motion to, oops, to get the excess off of that as well. Okay, sorry we had to break for just a moment while she opened the door. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be using these I love this check pattern right here. He is roller skating vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Total roller skating vibe, yeah. All right. Check this one at Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's, really? Yeah. I didn't you know. <laughs> That's it's a scary a game. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a, it's a pizzeria. It's a pizzeria, yeah, yeah. which... Okay, yeah, total 80s vibe with these. I love them. Okay. True teenager. <laughs> you are a true teenager. I'm Just confused. <laughs> Just with the whole Five Nights at Freddy's and all that, whatever. I was more obsessed with it in um, fifth grade, sixth grade. Which she never even watched it then, but... Well, played it, watched it, you know, watched playthroughs a little bit. It's even better now that I've watched playthroughs, because you won't let me get the game. That's right. <laughs> All right, and then I use this one for the index finger. How cute are these? Like, I would never be able to do such a, such a teen. <laughs> um, I'd never be able to get this kind of a design on her nails by myself. I'm just not that talented. Especially with nail polish. So that one, because it's tapered on that end, I'm going to be using this one. So some we are we are finding we can get, you know, we can use both ends. Oh my goodness, sorry. Uh, some we can use both ends, and some we with the tapered ones. Um, don't really fit on hers. You know, now this girl, she is 14, but she is taller than I am. I am five, almost five one. I'm a short gal, but, um, so she is taller than me, but yeah, so she does have the petite fingernails and petite hands and everything. So these totally still work and she, you know, these fun, youthful designs are right up her alley. There we go. And now 
for the thumbs. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Can you actually do that? Yeah. Again? Perfect. Okay, no painting. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> right, it's summertime. To finish the birdhouse. Yeah. Oh, you're doing the birdhouse. Nice. Yeah, birdhouse. Okay, that is going to be a little bit too narrow for her nail. Um, so what we can always do is we can turn it sideways. Oops. And stretching it will help to cover that whole nail. But now I've got wrinkles. Mm -hmm. There we go. See how he stretched that? I kind of grabbed that edge here. Rip the cherry boils. I know, the cherries. I wonder if, so that was, oh, that was a thumbnail. Okay, let's use the toenail ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Cherries. Oops, I kind of got <laughs> kind of crooked <laughs> again. Sorry. There we go. All right, there we go. And with that one. I think we should probably not try to use it on the other side. Here we go. All right, so yeah, with her nails, we definitely need to use the toe ones. So this would be like, normally for thumbnails but and these would be for toenails but it really just depends on what size your toe your thumbnails and things are um to see which size it's going to fit my hands are shaking and i don't know why <laughs> we are almost done oops maybe they have stage fright camera fright <laughs> just joking <laughs> All right, there we go. That one went on a lot easier. There we go. Okay, we just cleaned it up and we have just done her entire mani. Um, we even have uh, strips left over. We would probably have more if Mama was... <laughs> Once, once we get the hang of knowing which um, strips go on her fingers and which don't, um, then we will know better, there we go, uh, which ones to use and have more. But being that this was our first time, we had these left over. So go ahead and put them right there. Awesome, cool. Well, thank you so much for watching. And, and if you no, don't get me here. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, uh, want to order petites for yourself um, or for your uh, teenager, go to fussfreenails.com. Thanks. Right. Bye.